Hey folks, Christian Crowder right here. I'm back in the mine, getting to work. Uh, working on a few rigs that are having some issues. So I wanted to actually go through and show you uh, how how we build our rigs, how, uh, you know, why we kind of ended up doing it the way we're doing it, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on here. So here, take a look. So here's a couple rigs here, uh, one with GPUs and one without. You've, maybe you've seen these uh, motherboards online, you've seen them around. Well, they're great and all. A lot of people put them in enclosed cases, but we don't do that just due to the way, you know, we cool things. Uh, we actually draw air from the ground and exhaust it out the top. Look at these big three-phase fans here. So just due to the nature of the design, uh, putting these in server trays, uh, the, the traditional server setup didn't make a lot of sense for us. The whole principle for this design is there's fans built into the bottom that are blasting air upwards. The same sort of fans you'd find on a Bitcoin miner. Anyway, just to give you an idea, it's a, it also, you take a look at how thin it is. It means we can pack a lot of these in. So these, and also these power supplies are really, really cheap and very efficient. They're server grade power supplies, uh, typically around 90% efficiency. They're loud, uh, obviously, as you can hear. But uh, yeah, a few things about you know this chassis that we built. Uh, it also has space for an extra fan controller. A lot of these really powerful fans, you know, the motherboards, they won't, especially this motherboard in particular, it won't power the fan to its full uh, ampacity. And so that little fan controller on the back there plugs into the 12 volt power supply and it has temperature sensors on it that'll rev the fans up, up and down uh, as needed. So this is an older one having some issues pulling uh, this motherboard out of service. Uh, but all in all, it's worked out pretty well for me. And, uh, you know, we used to do it a bunch of different ways. You used to use risers. Uh, that was a nightmare. Avoid using risers in a professional mining rig, if at all possible. Uh, these are really great because you can use these server power supplies that just have 12 volts. And uh, oh, just so many, so much fewer connections. These power supplies are so much cheaper. Uh, by far, this is the way to go. If you're doing this, you know, in a data center at scale and you need a repeatable, compact solution that cools itself extremely well. Obviously, this is built for our use case, so it might not be right for everyone. It's designed to air, flow air upwards uh, with those fans being on the bottom and sitting on a mesh rack. Uh, it works great in this scenario because it can just push air all the way up from the bottom, all the way up and out. Uh, so here's here's what one looks like full of GPUs. I'm just finishing wiring it up. These old these just come through and tuck into the back. Uh, ideally, if you can get away with it, you really only want to use one power supply so that you know th they can interfere with each other. I found. So if, if it's at all possible for you to do so, highly recommend just using one power supply. Now, you can't always get away with doing that. It just, it's going to depend on what GPUs you have and how much power, how low a power you can get them down to. Fortunately, these RX uh, 580s, you can, you can get them to run really, really lean to the point they're just fine on one power supply. I think this whole setup consumes uh, less than s about 800 watts is about what it'll consume. So it's, uh, each of those power supplies, 1200 watts, works perfect uh, for this use case. I can show you a, a rig we used before then, which was a six GPU rig. Uh, let me find one. 
Here's an example. I've pulled all the GPUs out of it to go to our eight GPU rigs. Obviously, you want to fit as many GPUs as you can into a rig to save on licensing costs and complexity. And you know, just managing fewer rigs makes life easier. This was pretty dusty. But you know, this was an Onda six GPU board. This was pretty common. Uh, for a, uh, we, we still have several of it, like around a hundred of these in service and they're great boards uh, the problem is they you have to use uh, sort of consumer grade power supplies with these and the profile is much thicker so you can't fit nearly as many processors per rack as you can with this 8 GPU rig and how thin it is it's just sort of a no-brainer so there's a look at you know some of the rigs we use some of the differences I don't like the only thing the real downside to these is having to use consumer grade power supplies their only advantage is they're quieter uh, but they, they just tend to have more issues tend to not supply as much power they're much much higher cost the higher power you go uh, you know, this 750 watt power supply, I believe I paid 80 bucks for them and I was buying it in bulk. And you're talking about that versus a 1200 watt server power supply that, uh, these things are, they're pretty, they're pretty tough to kill. They're, they'll last you a long time and you, you can get these for around 30, 40 bucks. So these are really the option you want to go with. The disadvantage being they're very loud. So, just a quick tip. Happy mining.